guys. You won't believe this, but this is actually like take 17 of tonight. So for you guys, it's only one take. Hopefully, this is the one. Yes. Uh, but we've been uh, gone for a minute, but we're back now. Hopefully, consistently. So let, get, let me give you guys a quick update, right? So our goal is to now be more consistent and maybe more concise. I know we said that before and we mm -hmm. talk a lot, but we're going to try our best. So now we're, uh, we'll be recording and hopefully dropping every Friday. You know, you get that release radar on Spotify. Yes. You're going to get us right below that. Now, nah, we're not cool there yet, <laughs> but we, we, that's the goal. Right? That's the goal. All right. So uh, hopefully every Friday you'll be seeing from us and we'll be dropping some new stuff throughout the week. Mm -hmm. And you might even see some new people in front of the screen so don't yes. be surprised we're trying to you know mix it up a little bit yes for sure so in, in that same sentiment revamp so this is gonna be the new i'm down as far as new what we mean is that you know when we first started this um you know i, I remember the first episode it it was taylor sweatpants that's what yeah, it's called yeah. or something to do with taylor sweatpants yeah, yeah, yeah and those adidas that you tailored yeah no i didn't tailor those all right <laughs> yeah, to this day to the, all right cool so you know, when we first started this, we didn't really have a plan. Mm -hmm. You get me? We, I remember, you know, this this was literally me and Chris having a conversation one day. Yo, it took us one week to, like, prep the most basic stuff that we could afford at mm -hmm. the time. And we just went for it. You yeah. get me? And we're here now. And it's, you know, it's, again, 2020. Things have shifted. Things have changed. But, you know, one thing that we've definitely spoken about um, last week was taking this more seriously. Yeah, you yeah, me? And that, sure. that's what we're going to attempt to do here. You get me? Is... Just try to give the best that we can. Again, mm -hmm. as far as giving more content, as far as um, engaging and all of those things. You know, we're trying to start dropping those those mm -hmm. videos, whether it's on IG, YouTube, wherever it may be, at least once a week. Mm -hmm. Definitely the podcast for sure, you know. So we're going to try our best to engage with mm -hmm. you guys. Hopefully you guys can engage with us mm -hmm. when we ask questions and, you know, we have that kind of feedback for sure. Um, man, break me into something. What, what's yeah. been on your mind? Tell me some. Oh, man. Yo, 2020, you know, I was thinking, I know it's going to sound bad, right? But I was thinking, I was like, 2020 was a pretty good year for me. Okay, talk <laughs> yeah. to me. Talk to All me. All right. Uh, Ooh. Okay, so okay. Uh, I got music from some of my favorite artists that hadn't dropped music in three, four years. So, like Lecrae, like Andy Lecrae, Minio. Um, you said Andy Minio, right? Andy Minio is dropping some tracks, but uh, Funky, like Funky, the Funky we used to listen like to, back in the day. has a track with Lecrae coming out in a new Rich Record Spanish album, bro. I saw, I saw you posted something. Yeah, like that, right? I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah, how yeah. mind blowing that is to me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Manny Montes is in one of their songs. Oh, so yeah. that's why you put 14 year old yeah, me would be like, like crazy. I remember so, that. I remember so, that. uh, the Lakers are one way, depending on when you see this, are one win away from a championship Wh 10 years game? later. Friday? Friday. Okay. So, hopefully, by Friday, you're not seeing we're one win away, you're seeing we are the champion. Okay. All right. Okay. But it's long time coming. So I know it's been weird. I know it's been crazy. Real Madrid won the championship. Soccer. Okay. And the Patriots are actually pretty good even without Tom. I know. Crazy, right? Okay. To the non-consumer of sports world, break it down for me real quick. Um, break down basketball, football real quick. Okay. So basketball. We had this weird thing where now everybody played the games in Orlando. And... Lakers proved they were still the best team. They had the best record in the West, and they proved to be the best team in the NBA. And they're playing against the Miami Heat, so it gets even better for me. Who got the MVP this year? Giannis, who, who maybe okay. I don't think he deserved Bucks? it. Bucks? Yeah. And the defensive player here, he did not deserve that, but he got it too. But whatever. Oh, he got both. Yeah. But okay. whatever. That's besides the point. The point is, we're getting the championship. That's 10 years in the making, and it's the year of Kobe's passing. So, so there's it's, a, it's, right. a, it's a lot of heftiness on this. Right. What, uh, do you, what do you say? I'm sorry to cut yeah. you off. Okay. What, what, what do you have to say then about the every single year we have these rumors about the mafia, about yeah. people throwing games, X, Y, and Z. Do you think that this is possible that the NBA will be like, yo, let's set it let up. the Lakers win yeah. because it's only right that... Do you think any of that could be true? I would if it wasn't because they're playing the Heat in the finals and Jimmy Butler mm. being bought by nobody. Gotcha. Jimmy Butler's a dog. Okay. Like, he ain't okay. gonna sell himself for he's anybody. Really, he's really like that. Yeah, he's really that dude, bro. Okay. He's really that dude. Like, he's a, like that. Yo, I wanna be the yeah. best. I wanna grind. Patriots um, lost. Patriots lost. We got a bunch of players with COVID, but it's all good. But you guys lost your key player. Yeah. And we're still, year, right? well, we're still doing pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, we had a close game against Seattle that we should have won. We had a close game against the Chiefs that we should have won. Bunch of mistakes. Uh, but it's, it's just confidence. And obviously, I don't switch up. I waited 10 years and I'm sure <laughs> even my tweet yesterday was like I'm cheering for LeBron and Rondo in 2020 yeah, that's well, weird I used to hate Rondo and I don't like LeBron oh yeah you hated Rondo because they played the Celtics yeah and you saw and he used to do right? yeah. Yeah. so and um, what's the, so wait so okay I'm sorry back to football though real quick what 
happens to the Patriots now? Their championship team, what happens now? Well, they're hopefully going to have another go about and go to the playoffs, but it's going to be hard. The Chiefs are, are So beautiful. they're rebuilding then? You think yeah, yeah. That's what's no, no, they, they have... Because Cam is 31, so he's still an older quarterback. He's not a young dude. But okay. he got COVID, so he didn't play the last game. Mm. Uh, our defensive player of the year, probably one of the best cornerbacks in the league, got COVID like two days ago. So it's like a... The, the NFL is, is going to look messy because they have these people traveling. You know, it's not like that NBA that everybody was in one place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have people traveling back and forth. You're bound to come into contact with somebody who had or has it or will have it. Yeah. And so it's going to be a complicated season. Mm. Uh, but even in the midst of all of that, you know, Real Madrid won. Lakers <sighs> are going to win. So yeah. I've seen some Ws. Yeah. Uh, Laney dropped a new project. Lecrae dropped a new Lecrae. KB dropped a new project. Those are like three of my favorite artists, and they're all fire. I'm just waiting, waiting on Kendrick. Kendrick drops a pro- project. You guys can... It's a rap. It's a rap. I, I think Drake is dropping a project in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is he, he put a release date yet? Well, for I'm assuming it's going to be November. I think this year. I think yeah, it's I think this year for sure. Because uh, he already said it's coming makes, this year. It makes sense in November. So actually. we're going to have some some crazy year for music. Uh, I heard Big Sean's album was crazy. Big Sean's album's pretty good. Um, I know. We got some good stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, cause, and I, I know. I know. I know. Election year. So do your part. There's a lot of stuff you could be negative about. Yes. But uh, let's look at the bright side. I'm having a great year. <laughs> We're glad that you're having a great year, Chris, because a lot of us are not having a great year, Chris. <laughs> I, see, I like the transition. I, say, I, will, I will say this. I will say this. Before I even speak on that, though, real quick. Presidential debate. Oh, uh, garbage. A presidential garbage. debate. Garbage. Garbage. So, that was not a debate. So, wait, wait. So, today's Wednesday. Nine, right? It's today at nine, right? Okay. So, the VPs today, they mm-hmm. go out of today. Okay. Biden, Trump. First presidential debate. I just want to hear from what do you think? So you're actually somebody who watches and is yeah. in that realm. What do you what do you think? What do you say? I think I think um, it would be it would be irresponsible to call it a debate. Okay, go Cause ahead. Because I ahead. think a debate is like the presenting of conflicting ideas, right? And we're arguing about it. We're discussing these ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this case, there was no such thing as that. You know, <laughs> because like the idea of a presidential debate, so we all understand, is to. It's for people who may not be aware or people who are in the fence, right, for the most part. So they can see where your stance on certain uh, policies are and they can say, okay, that's the person who I, I can identify with. Yeah. In this guy, in this case, we had a guy who called the other a clown. We had a guy who talked about the other. Yeah, Somebody being he's stupid. stupid. Okay, uh, wait, wait. All kinds of things. Before you go on, real quick, right? For those people that don't know, I don't know either. These questions, are how are these questions ask like like is there a poll of like the most questions that america wants to know like, yeah so so there there usually tends to be uh the most important current events so if you notice some of the questions were mm. uh you know uh, the economy, police the, poli- the economy yes. covid how we're gonna handle covid yes. like those are the things that are pressing right yes. um racism yes um so you see all those things that, that are like the most important covid that we know for Americans, are like the pressing issues like where does my my president or future president stand on this? Yeah. Uh, so the idea is usually you know you you see that how you, your your person you vote, cheering for you're voting for it represents, but it, this was just a travesty, honestly. Like, right. It was bad. It was bad. Listen, I enjoyed that president <laughs> debate but so you much. Like I, listen, <laughs> I've never seen the president debate in my life before until this time around. So you could even thank Trump for being a troll as to yeah, probably right. why a lot of people tuned yeah. in. Now I will say this. I've never laughed at anything political because it wasn't even supposed to be funny, but it was just funny looking at like somebody who's like it's supposed to be serious, right? Like the whole thing is supposed to be a serious thing, really turn into like a comedy show, yeah, like yeah. like realistically, mm-hmm. like that was like some hip hop, like real hood shit, you know what I mean? And it was, it, I mean, again, for my first political or presidential debate, let's say I loved it, I had a great time. I can't <laughs> wait to watch this one. Let's see how this one is. It's nah, probably gonna be a lot more political. Yeah, it's definitely more, more educational. That's okay. I'm, I'm still down the scene because I've been hearing Kamala is she about that life? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've said Pence is um, it, it's a pretty respectful dude. Yeah, so, yeah, so. so let, let's see how let, let's see how it goes. Let's yeah, I think it's goes. gonna be far. Uh, I even told you. Yeah, I think like if people are still on the fence, this is the debate they should look at. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's just that one that you may actually get yeah, something out of. For sure. Um, but tell me, bro. So okay. I'm out here talking about <laughs> okay, a great yes, year. Yes, yes, yes. So now let me let me go ahead and say why this year will be a great year, though. And I'm excited. I like that. I like that. So check it out. So today I wake up today and I and I knew that yesterday I was gonna have a 10 a.m. meeting, right? I ask, right, the superior, my superior at at the time, is this bad news? I didn't get a reply. So you know, it was you know, it was in the back of my head. Well, maybe, but you know, I didn't give it too much thought. So today I was formally let go, right? Laid off, not fired, cause there's a difference, all right? <laughs> but let go. Now check this out. 
you know, I was, I was talking with Mills today. I was like, you know, I've been praying for a long time for a challenge. You get me? And I didn't know what that meant. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like, and how it was going to come. And I also, like, you know, for a very long time, and you know this, I've prayed that, you know, like, like where I am, or I've acknowledged better, you know, that where I am is because of God. You get me? And I've always said this, too, and you could account for this, too, if you remember, but I've always said the day that I'm not there is because it's going to be God's mm-hmm. choice for me to not yeah, be there. Yeah, you know it's what time. I mean? And so, you know, during this time, it's like, it's very easy, right, for you to stress and lose your mind and lose your cool. But, you know, I want to take this moment to make this an I'm down moment. Because even though, right, this is technically bad news, right? And it does affect, you know, like the income. It might affect the flow of things. That's okay. You get me? The, you know, you plan for these things. You know, there's help for these things. Mm-hmm. And you're going to keep moving forward. You get me? But I want to highlight, though, is... If you're in that situation right now, or in something worse, don't dwell on the fact that you're in that situation. You know, one mm-hmm. thing that I've realized, it's very easy for you to, like, feel bad for yourself, you get me? And, like, really dwell in your, and have pity for yourself. That shit don't work. Get that shit out your mind right now. And I say mm-hmm. that to say, I say it that way because many times, bro, when shit like this happens, you know, you get comfort from your friends, you get mm-hmm. comfort from your family, and those things are amazing because you need that support, you need that positivity. However, the only person that's going to get you out of that is yourself. Mm-hmm. Unless you have a hero or a rescue that comes to your rescue, cool, by all means, God bless you. But in most cases, I would say you're not going to have that. Mm-hmm. You get me? And so take that time and opportunity to go ahead and do what you've been wanting to do this entire time. You know what I mean? And so I feel like now, although this doesn't mean like, oh, I'm only going to like focus on I'm down, but this means that I get to double down on I'm mm-hmm. down now. You get what I'm saying? And so the funny thing is that, you know, before this happened, we had already talked about us committing to Wednesdays, mm-hmm. us taking this serious, and the things that we wanted to do. You know what I mean? And that to me continues to roll in my head as far as what God's plan is. Mm-hmm. You get me? And so this is my challenge. You know what I mean? And this is part of it. Because realistically, you know, you could pray for something. You you might not know how it's going to come. And it is your job to prepare yourself mm-hmm. for that. You know what I mean? It is your job, whatever it is that you're praying for, to be ready for it. And to be vigilant as to how it's going to happen. Because, yeah. you know, a lot of times, whether you're praying or whether you're, you know, praying to the universe, to God, whatever your deal is, right? You know, we try to, like, make it seem like, oh, this is going to happen this way. Mm -hmm. And although thoughts are extremely powerful, you know, we manifest what we think many times. We create these things Mm -hmm. through our thoughts. You get me? We say that words have power. And all of these things are extremely true. You get me? However, it is still our job to be very vigilant as to where these opportunities arise. You Mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? And so something bad happened doesn't necessarily mean that that's the end all be all. You get Mm -hmm. me? You know, we have this thing in our head where... In society, you are supposed to, like, you know, be this thing, right? This figure of, like, a CEO, a CFO of this or that, right? Like, you're supposed to, like, mm-hmm. be doing what everybody yeah. else is doing. And I get it. You know I mean, it's very easy for you to be like, well, yeah, I'm supposed to have a job. Everybody else has a job. That's how you pay your bills, X, Y, and Z. And I get it. But, you know, when you're down and out, especially at your lowest, I feel like that's the perfect time for you to double down on the stuff that you really want to do. You got nothing to lose. You Exactly, because that's exactly what I was going to get to. Because at that point, you have nothing to lose. You get what I'm saying? Like, what What's the worst thing that could happen at that moment? You know what I mean? And so, although I got that news today, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, like, you know, something else like, damn, it sucks. You get me? Because now you're thinking about, okay, well, what's going to happen next? But I'm not too concerned about too much about, oh, well, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? No, let me focus on what I have right now. You get me? And one thing I've realized is that this is why it's important for you to have good people in your life it's important why is this is the reason why it's important for you to have a good system in your life you get me people and i've always said this people matter more than anything in your life because at the end Put of the day t-shirt. whenever you're rich or whatever the fuck you are or whether in a yard in a mansion or whatever it's not going to change whether you feel happy or sad or anything you get me you're going to want those people you're going to want that mm-hmm. warmth you're going to want that conversation and the people around you matter the most you get me because Again, just like, again, and you guys didn't hear this conversation, but we just had this long conversation with Julian. And, you know, to his point, right, there is many households in where you'll get fired and negativity will strike you. You get me? Meaning now you're mm-hmm. going to have beef because you can't provide. You're going to have X, Y, and Z because, and that's what I mean by it. that's not a good support system. You get me? That's negativity. Mm-hmm. And although I understand that, you know, in life things happen, things get to people and you will have moments, that's okay. 
But don't don't take your eyes off the bigger picture. Take this moment, take this time for you to really double down what you want to do. And so the reason why I'm highlighting this as an I'm down moment is because now I'm, because I'm saying it live, right? And because I'm saying it here and it's going to get posted for sure and I'm going to split the clip and everything, that's going to hold me accountable also. Mm -hmm. So when you look at five years from now, you know, wh wherever we are, whether we succeed or fail, it's going well, to be... Well, we can't fail. This ain't never going to be a failure. And I like that mentality. But the point is that it will never be an excuse. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? If... If we accomplish whatever we accomplish and we go back to the story because everybody goes back to the stories of how they grew up. They go back to the stories of their turmoil, mm -hmm. of their challenges, how they overcame those challenges. Those things become inspiring stories. I understand that. But this is like real life. You mm -hmm. get me? This is a real life thing. A lot of people had real life situations. All of those things are real life. And so you're going to have multiple examples of how it doesn't really matter where you are, mm -hmm. what you have. If you have zero dollars in the bank account right now and you have no job, you can be somebody. You get me? I was just having this conversation not that long ago with Mills too about that exact same thing, which is this is one of those only countries where like you could really come from nothing there is and be something. Yeah. You get me? Like realistically, like you, that's exactly why immigrants come here and risk their lives every single day to come here for opportunity. Mm -hmm. And even though they're going to work the labor jobs and the jobs that X and Y and Z don't want or a lot of people don't want, that's still an opportunity for you to provide for your for your fam way back over there or even over here. Mm -hmm. You know, so so that that that's been uh my thoughts as of today. You get me? Um it's it's just thinking real positive because your thoughts matter. Like your thoughts can really make or break you. You know what I mean? And wherever space you decide to be on, it's a hundred percent up to you. You get me? Nobody else is going to have that power. You know, a lot of times, you know, I feel like we accept what other people tell us, you mm -hmm. know? And and again, yeah, y'all can clown me for this real quick. But like when somebody says you're short, when somebody says you're ugly, when somebody says your toes are too big, when somebody says your hands are too big, when somebody says you dress ugly, when somebody says your smile is crooked, when somebody says your teeth are yellow or you have an ugly nose, we accept those mm -hmm. things. And when you accept those things and you repeat them in your head, you become those things mm -hmm. to yourself. Now you become ugly when you weren't even ugly to begin with. You, know I mean? you didn't think it was ugly, but because so many people and you've mm -hmm. allowed their opinion to overcome your own of your own self, your own self-esteem, then that's exactly how we start to tear each, that ourselves down from the inside. You get me? And so don't forget that your thoughts are one of the most powerfulest things that you have. Your mind is really that strong. Your mind is really that powerful. You know, oftentimes um, we've had this conversation, right, of I feel like the reason why us as humans, we want more and more and more is because we're always trying to get to that point, mm -hmm. right? You know, you, you go through science or whatever, and you're going to hear that humans only use 10% of their minds, 8% of their brains, whatever. You get me? But the point is that you don't ever use 100 and it's like deep down we know that. Mm -hmm. You get me? Like there's more. You get me? Like, we, we, the, like it's almost like there's more and the, the mm -hmm. things that we can... Um, have like tangible to us are these material mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. it's exactly why we tend to just get more and more, and more because yeah. realistically, we're grasping at it realistically and subconsciously you're just trying to get to that 100 mm -hmm. percent the entire time yeah. you get me? you're yeah. just doing it in the wrong direction we've been going out the wrong direction this whole time and so if you take anything from this podcast today it's going to be mindset and this podcast started off on mindset and i would love for this to end on mindset because it started off from two guys who were having a gang of conversations that we thought were very important to life. Um, I, don't, I don't really see too many people talking about these things around us. And, and also, I would like to extend an apology to the people that have been supporting us. Because I was thinking about this on the ride over here. You know, a lot of people reach out to us and tell us how... We could be great. Mm -hmm. How what we have is something good. How, you know, and, and, and it's funny because sometimes we feel like if we don't have a gang of followers, a gang of comments, that we, we are not doing mm -hmm. something. You get me? And that's, that's why it becomes a problem because we don't look at, you know, like, like you don't realize that you're starting small and we don't look at the people that are starting with you and growing with you and looking at your stuff, reposting your stuff and saying, hey, you guys are great. Like, mm -hmm. So the apologies that we haven't been doing what we're supposed to be doing. We haven't been posting how we're supposed to be posting. Mm -hmm. And for the people that do follow us, the people that do support us, 
We apologize. Yep. Because we haven't been giving you guys what you deserve in that aspect, mm -hmm. you get me, of our content. And so that's exactly why, you know, it's time for that change. You yeah. know, if 2020 has taught me anything, is that, you get me? This is definitely not a bad year for me. And this news is nothing, uh, honestly, because but at the end of the day, a job is a job. And this is not like, you know, this job wasn't like my dream job or something mm -hmm. that I wish to do. I was very grateful to be in the position that I was in. I was very, very grateful to God for, you know, the things that he had given me. But, you know, like my mom, my mom told me that today, too. She's like, yo, look, God closes one door and he opens another yeah, one. And that's how that. life goes, mm -hmm. you know. And whatever he opens, nobody could close. And whatever he closes, ain't nobody opening. You know yeah, what I mean? Amen to that. And so that's, that, that's just how this is going. So this is why I wanted to highlight this that I'm down moment because this is going to be our shift. You get me? And whether... Like you said, we're not going to fail. And I like that mentality because the whole point is going to be to push. Yeah. And the push is going to come. And I, and I told Chris today, too, because, he, he, you know, you asked me, he's like, are you sure? You know, you don't record it. I was like, but I don't care. I don't care what happened today. We're, we're doing this. We committed to Wednesday and we're going to do Wednesday, period. You get me? And so I really appreciate everybody who's been listening, everybody who's been writing with us, everybody who's commented or called me and told me it's great. I'm sure you've gotten, mm -hmm. you know, your, your fair share. I appreciate everybody. And. You know, we're going to do better. We're going to try to do better. Because if you know better, you do better. Anything else, Bidon? We back. <laughs> That's we're it. Back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs>